Well, I know that everybody is looking for something fun to do, something unique and different to do with their significant other for Valentine's Day. But this is something not only for Valentine's Day, but on any other day you should come check out, especially if you're creative and you really want to get into making some beautiful art pieces. Jesse, we're here at Hawaii Fluid Art in League City. First of all, look at this beautiful sign. I just love your light sign and the angel wings behind me. It's Thank beautiful. So I want you to tell our viewers a little bit about fluid art and kind of the whole concept behind it. Well, so the concept behind it or whatever was what we do. We do fluid art and we do it well. So we do pours and it's you layer a cup okay. with different types of colors and we have all different types of sizes of canvas. So people come in, they pick their favorite colors, whatever they're in the mood to see and that's what they're gonna put on their canvas. Yes ma'am. Okay, and like I'm looking at some of the beautiful pieces behind you. You guys know what you're doing because I would go into a store and buy those. They're so beautiful. Yes, so we offer different types of pours. So we do a rock pour, Okay. we do a river pour, we do a figure eight pour, I mean we do a cloud pour, we have an S pour and then we also do fire and ice pours where they do contrasting colors so it doesn't have to be oh. a pink and a green it can be a red and a blue or a red I and gotcha. so it's just cool little different type like a bold color and a not so bold color this is just such a cool concept because I've always seen this but I've never known what it was called and I've never known how to do it so when people come in you teach them what they're doing so all those pores you just mentioned you tell do people it all. exactly you do what it to all. do we just guide you along the way okay so what we started with today was a completely blank canvas and I poured a white base paint on the bottom. Why do you start with the white paint when the canvas is already white? Well, it makes the paint flow. So basically what we do, we get it all smoothed out and then we basically push the paint to the sides okay. to make it go out towards the corners. And that's where you want all the paint to go? No, you want to pour it right in the center. So we're going to stretch this out and make it a beautiful and piece. that's so, what you do when you start yes, moving it around. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, so I have chosen the magenta pink, which I'm guessing is quite a popular color, oh, right? Yes, it brings <laughs> out a lot of colors. Oh my god, I'm so style. excited. Yeah. I also chose gold, I chose some teal, and I chose a purple, but those are kind of the colors you like to contrast a little bit of the light, a little bit of the bold, and of course the gold has a little bit of metallic in it too, right? Yes, ma'am. And when we layer the cup, we measure in Hawaii Fluid Art in blurps. Okay. So blurp. you basically pour and you layer it, go blurp, and blurp. blurp. And it layers on top of each other. I learned a new word. <laughs> yes, that is a white blue art measuring okay, technique. Here. Okay, so we've got this cup, it's all layered. What do we do next? So basically, we never want to pour in the same side that we poured in. So okay. you want to turn it and be a 90 degree angle. Okay. So I mark your cup here. I got gotcha. you. So if you're right handed, left handed, you basically are going to pour and start pouring there and go all the way to here. Okay. And you want to be out of paint by the time you're there. Okay, so I want to dump it all yes, right there. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna get it. You okay, wanna, you want to do it? it? Okay, okay, you got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to be low and slow with it. Low and Ready? slow. Okay. There we go. Oh my God, I just love the way that those colors all come together like that. Oh, so then we empty and out then the cup. All the way up and then run it out. Okay. And then these we are did it. Start selling and start popping and there's going to be a lot of little uh, bubbles coming through it. Okay. And then we're going to stretch this painting. How do you do that? Okay, so there's tacks <laughs> underneath it, right? Okay. So we have peace signs. Give me peace signs. Okay. And then we're going to flip it and we're going to go right here. Here, I go here. All right, so we're okay. going to take off one side. Which one do you Let's not go like? This that one? that right, way, so sure. slowly walk this. Okay. Here we go. Into and it's going to run corner. off, but All right. you're not going to be too worried about it. Okay, I'm not worried about it. And yeah. then always recenter the painting. Okay, back to the middle. And then we never want to go corner to corner. We don't want to overstretch this. So we're going to okay. go back down to your way. I love that it's actually called stretching. I never would have known that that's what it was called. I love these. Did I do a good job on picking oh, out the yeah. colors? Beautiful Sorry, colors. I know that it's facing Sorry. me right now. You guys you can't go. see, but look at that. And then we're going to come back down here. It's so pretty. It really does keep the colors separate, but kind of swirled in this like beautiful ambient kind of ombre And then back style. to the center. Back to the center. <gasps> Look at and that. And we're gonna tilt it right down to finish that corner. Look at that. Jesse, thank you so much for this. I don't know, people may wanna buy this for thousands and thousands of dollars. Oh, but <laughs> everything in our walls are for sale. All our art is for sale. All right, but don't go anywhere you guys because you think that this is what they have here and that's it. No, that's not the case. I'm gonna show you their splatter paint room sit, coming yeah. up in just a bit. I might have to put on a little bit more protective garb. But look at this, Derek and Tessa, how good is my painting? Uh, total Jesse pro status. Me at all it's so good. <laughs> Gabe doesn't want that, it's too pink. Give it to me. Thank you. <laughs> uh, well, okay, that's fair enough. Sounds good. <laughs> that's beautiful. That's really, really pretty. Can't wait to see more. Nicely done, Lauren Kelly. Wow, she's good at everything. That is beautiful. <laughs> I buy that. It's a doubt.
Well, love is in the air, and so is paint. We've already described all the beautiful things that you could do here at Hawaii Fluent Art in League City. Now, Jesse, we've talked about the canvas painting. Yes, ma'am. I want you to tell our viewers, aside from the canvas painting, what else classes do you offer? What other kind of classes do you offer? Well, we do fluid art, and we do it well. And we have uh, resin tumblers that okay. you can make your own cup. Uh, we do glass painting. Okay. We do... I've seen the beach scenes. You yes, do some beautiful, mm, beach, beautiful scenes. beach scenes. And then... And you can uh, bring like your own rocks or your own okay. seashells in and we can put them oh. in from like a cool little uh, So piece. if you have a favorite something that you mm -hmm. want to add color to, you can actually bring that here. Yeah. And, and we can entertain fun. anything basically. We pour on cow skulls, we pour on a surfboard. We, That's do, awesome. we can pretty much pour on anything. I love right, it, you know? I love it. And you guys have been here since December, so you've got an event coming up for a grand opening, but you also still have a lot of space for Valentine's Day, right, coming up on Wednesday. Yes, ma'am, we do have a real cool collaboration. Um, it's going to be, uh, tickets are going to have to be purchased in, in advance. Okay. You can just follow us on all our socials. We're on Instagram, TikTok, uh, Facebook, uh, all the stuff. I we do have cool to ask, videos. hold on, I have to ask, when it comes to couples, is it the guy or the girl who ends up liking the painting better? Well, pretty much what we say is it can be done by anyone. Uh, like my three-year-old did it and my 83-year-old dad did it. So. Uh, I do. I like the spouses that come in and like, come on, babe, I don't want to do an arts Valentine's Day. Then they're like, they have the most fun of their life, right? Like all the time. Guys absolutely love it. I mean, that's why <laughs> I'm full time in it. Absolutely. You know, I own it. That's why I'm here every single yeah. day. And from sun up to sundown, and we're here painting every day because I love coming into work. I love the way it makes me feel whenever. Yeah. I love the look on people's faces yeah. when they come in and they come out and then they pour something. I've never been an artist. And then they they stretch it out and they're like, this wow. is absolutely gorgeous. It is. It's a wow. It is a wow. It's something so different for the community. I know there's, I have never been to any place like this, which is awesome. So thanks for the invite out today, but that's not where it stops. Let's address where we are because clearly we're in a splatter paint room. Yes, we are dressed to be painted oh, yeah. crazily today. People can come in and do this. Yes, ma'am. I mean, pretty much uh, kids to adults, yeah. families do it. It's great team building. Yeah. Um, you come in, you pick out your colors. We've got super soakers like you saw before. We've got the bunny suits. We got the goggles. <laughs> we got it all. You know, right, the I'm booties. Gonna put, yeah, yeah. I'm going to put my, my hood up. I'm going to invite your wife, Danielle, to come. Uh, yeah. She was very, very good with the super soaker. She actually made it a lot more on the canvas. Jesse, yeah. not to well, call you out. I know. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but we've already done the super soaker, so then you really can just take the paintbrush and just start throwing paint, oh, right? Yeah, basically. It's just okay. making splatter. Is art. there a trick? Like, am I supposed oh, to no. go down no, or sideways? Go, oh, God, yeah, I'm yeah. throwing it at Daniel's yeah, face. Yeah, yeah. That's you not go, the canvas. Just go at it. All right, just go at it. There you go. Oh, I love this. And, and it's we so also, therapeutic, isn't it? It's so therapeutic. I keep, I, my mom keeps telling me all the time not to throw paint around the house, well, but I'm actually supposed to do it here. I mean, you just come here and then you don't have to worry about the cleanup afterwards. Okay, can we also show people, oh, my God, I'm like legit not getting on the canvas. Canvas. But I want to show people the best part of this room. Not only is this awesome, but Danielle, can you show everybody how this actually is a black lit room? Because I want to show you my masterpiece, our masterpiece. Oh, when the black. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. there we there go. Yeah. Now, now you, you can now really you see. It. Now I just want to like throw the whole thing. Oh, well, yeah. you guys, this is a great fun idea, whether it's Valentine's Day or whether it's spring break coming up. I'm going to put all the info up at HoustonLive.tv. Danielle, Jesse, thank you so much. We are now professional painters, and we will definitely be back. Cheers. Here Tessa, we're cheersing to you. Next time, hopefully, you'll join us right here. And we love that idea. And still thank slots you. open for Valentine's Day, Lauren, I understand. Is that true? Yes. Okay. You got That's it. So that cool. is true. Just get all the information on their website. Just got a flashback yeah. when blacklight was everything, and it still is. Good stuff, so Lauren. Fun. Thank you.